What's going on, Channel B Factual? My name is Joshua Williamson. So, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. And where we last left off, uh, we did the mission Meltdown. So, let's continue. The next mission I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a mission for Derek. This is the last mission that I had to do for him. So, let's do it. <laughs> and I'm not gonna drive all the way over there, it'll take too long. I'm gonna look for a cab. Actually, no, I'm going to call Roman's Cab Enterprise. Car service. Roman, it's Nico. I need the cab. You are my cousin, Nico. How can I refuse? There is a cab on its way. Well, you guys arrived too late because I already have Mohammed coming towards me. And I get to hear him complain, which is entertaining. <laughs> and he's a terrible driver, too. Hang on. Hang on, my gameplay is lagging a bit. Just let me run through the sections on the pause. Make sure... Wait till it stops. Alright, there we go. Should stop now. UL paper. Felix, we need you. Now, the chopper is prepped and waiting off Grummer Road in Northwood. You are some time ago. I already know that. Never mind about Derek's mission. Roman is doing well. You see this new guard, my friend? Yeah, I see that, but this is kind of urgent. I need you to take me over there. Just my luck. Please, have as much fun in this place as I had driving you here. In other words, don't be fun at all. Mohammed's complaining is kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. I've always thought that that was funny. Hearing yes, yes, my, my Nico. Hey, Jacob. Let's see if we can do this properly now, Jacob. I forgot to mention I was struggling on this part. See, this mission I usually do not struggle with at all. But for some reason, it's just different. The past few times I played it. Let's keep on the chopper. Jacob, man! I don't see so good when you're blowing the smoke in my face! <laughs> Fine, smoke it, whatever! <laughs> yeah, let him smoke, Nico. Come on, Jake. 
You tell me that now. There we go, finally. Wait, is... Is it ending so early and failing so early because I didn't... I didn't do as the chopper was saying and let the dialogue happen? If that is the case, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, I agree. was close. Yes, I want to auto-save. I don't know why that needs to happen. Just auto-save on your own and don't ask me if I want to. I don't know why you need to ask me. You all paper. We shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls with my head up my ass? Maybe. I'd be impressed if you had been. I appreciate your assistance, Pelican. You did a good thing today. Now it's my turn. I will try to find the man you're after. I will call when I have something. Thank you, UL, UL Paper. Man, I wish I didn't... mispronounce so much. And stutter. Hey, taxi. Oh, screw you. How about you? Nope, you got someone in there. How about you? You've also got someone in there. How do you not see me? I didn't see someone in that car. Little Jacob. Okay. Oh, no, I'll, I'll read that in a minute. I don't want this taxi to leave. Hey, buddy. Take me Where to Petulo Avenue. Sure thing. We'll be there in no time. Alright, now let's read that message. From Lil Jacob, Einstar, you got crazy flying skills. I and I should fly over to Jamrock one day. Sight easy, LJ. Alright, let's skip this destination. Skip to the destination. Gosh dang it! With me, it's brain fart after brain fart. Thanks a lot. A couple gameplays ago, I. Instead, called the Holland play Blood Brothers. Why does this always happen to me? An unhandled exception is coming up on my on my computer right now. You can't see it because the web capture isn't up. Okay, another old, little Jacob email, uh, message. Sorry, not email. Message. Einstar, you need I bring some weapons in me car. Hit I up. I'll think about that, Jacob. But I use cheat code, so I don't think I need to. Tunnel of Death. This is the last Derek mission. All right, boy. Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Yeah, you're a mess, Man. Derek. How do you manage? <laughs> I don't know that I got off so lightly. Aiden O'Malley. What about mm. O'Malley? Excuse me. I heard he's being moved. <sighs> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. <sighs> get off the drugs. Live with the memories. There's no way you're going to get off the drugs. My man from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional. 
please. Make up for it. Just this last one. Please. Okay. Sure, Derek. You and me. The same. <coughs> the same. No, you and Nico are not the same. Nico is not a hardcore drug addict. I gotta wait for a phone call. It's Packy. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with them? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. All right. Take me to the truck. So we need to go to Roebuck Road. All right then, let's do it. Thank you. This is as far as I can go, okay? Yeah, whatever. It's far enough. All right, I got the truck. Locked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great. They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. Yeah. Derek would have never came up with a plan like Packy has. Because his drug his drug addiction, that's why. No one who's a major heroin addict and an alcoholic would ever come up with a genius plan to get Aiden out of there. And Derek would have just said to, you know, just go ahead and kill Aiden where he is. But that would make the situation really bad because because you're in front of a bunch of policemen. Let's go through this tunnel. And let's park horizontal right there. Okay. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Oh, 
Okay, hold on. Let me cheat my health and weapons back and ammo. All right, Aiden, come with us. Look, Frankie's boys. We gotta lose this heat before we can send this fucker where he's going. We need to lose this van, Packy. The cops will be looking for it. All right. That's the only way we can go through there. <coughs> we gotta go over to a car in an alleyway. We gotta get rid of the police van. And we're gonna take Aiden with us in that car in the alleyway. Dude, Packy is a very smart criminal. Very smart. It's further away than I remember it being. Then again, I haven't played this in a while. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough problem. Great, we've got some transport. You're not free yet, asshole. Get in that car. We've got rid of the unwanted attention. Now it's time for business. Get us to the cliffs in Leftwood. I got something to talk about after this mission is done. It's, it's in regards to Derek, Bucky, and Aiden. You guys remember Bucky? We killed him last playthrough. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right. Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit, I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it! You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Gosh, dang. I think it's still the after effects of the sickness I had. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta kill someone. And if killing you means that, sorry, lady. Well, quit being a drama queen. It's just death. Even though I didn't kill you. Oh, wait. Down there. Packy, we're almost there. Quit whining. Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. 
You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Name Derek McCreary ring any bells? He's my brother. Yep, that's Derek. Derek? But he ratted me I out. I don't know why that happened. He's the reason I ended up in that place <coughs> to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd rat him out? This is the last sunset you're ever going to see. Enjoy it. Nico, send him packing. Yep. You gotta kill Aiden. <coughs> Shit! I thought I was out! I thought I was liberated! I'm gonna let him speak some dialogue before I kill him, though. It would have been nice to spare him. You know, well, actually, it would have been nice, but it would have been cool to have that option to see Derek, if there was any af outcome. Yeah, I know he did, but Packy told me to do this, so I have to. <laughs> Please, I just want to be free. Well, you'll be eternally free, so. Ah! All right. Well, Aiden's dead. And so is Bucky. Both of... <coughs> Both of Derek's old acquaintances are dead. <sighs> Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Alright. I got something to talk about in regards to Derek and Aiden and Bucky. See, Derek, Aiden, and Bucky were members of the IRA, which is a terrorist organization in Ireland. And, <clears throat> see, Derek, he, he's a rat, okay? I've already talked about him being a rat. It's Brucey. Oh, that's just him talking about race. I don't want to read that email. But anyways, back to Derek, Aiden, and Bucky. Uh, they were part of a terrorist. Or there was they were a terrorist organization called the IRA, uh, and Derek is a rat. He ratted them out because he because they got captured by, well, he got captured by law enforcement, and he, see, he decided to rat them out. You know, become an informant for law enforcement to keep himself from going to prison and you know basically he betrayed Aiden and Bucky so Packy he he was pretty much you know flipping the story saying that you know Aiden say, telling Aiden so you thought you rat on him when in reality Packy knows that Derek is you know a snitch and don't get me wrong Bucky and Aiden are terrible people, okay? They were awful people. They were part of a terrorist organization. They deserve to be in prison. Where are you going, man? How you doing? Let's go do a mission Came for Francis. Dry. Sorry about the smell. I just laid some gas in here. It's a natural body function, okay? I don't care. Here we are. It's a wrap. You're an a-hole. Like, like I said, Bucky and Aiden are terrible people, okay? They, they were part of a terrorist organization, and Derek was too, okay? He was aligned with them. They deserve to be in prison. The point I'm making, though, is that Derek is a coward. He's pathetic. Blood Brothers. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. Yeah, that's true, Francis. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. <laughs> He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him 
threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Yeah. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put True. him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck. <coughs> Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Yeah. Alright, so I'll, I'll continue talking about that when I get further. Taxi! Derek. Nico, thank fuck you, Ant. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Yeah, is, true. Which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? Yeah. This phone's running out of battery. Shit! Look after me, Nico. Sorry about the phone call. We're going to Bismarck Avenue. Okay then, here we go. Okay. Let's skip to the destination. <laughs> Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Alright. So let's go to the window cleaning platform and make a decision. You can choose to either kill Francis or Derek. I'll let you know my decision when that time comes. <clears throat> Let's get my sniper out. Thought I was close enough. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Yeah, that's Sit true, down. but in Why a bad you way. Call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Okay, so basically this decision is who is worse between the two. Francis, who's a crooked cop, and Derek, who's a snitching terrorist, you know, member, terrorist group member. Now, a lot of people disagree with me, but my choice is to kill Derek. So... That went a little bit wrong, but I, it still happened. I killed Derek. I'm a police officer. Come on, clear the <sighs> area. Clear the area. Derek, shit. He's my brother. Yeah. Francis fakes mourning. But yeah, a lot of people disagree with me with that choice. I choose to kill Derek, and I'll explain why after the mission is done. 
I think he is a little bit worse than Francis, personally. And a lot of people disagree with me, but it's my opinion. Wait, no, I, I don't need no taxi. I need to get out of there. <laughs> Alright. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. Yeah. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That's cool? <sighs> Sounds like I don't have a choice. No, you're gonna stop again. I had a phone call and I couldn't miss it for the story. Taxi. But anyways, I'm gonna do a mission for Ray now. Take me to Burlesque. All right then, let's do it. All right, but anyways, I'm gonna explain why I killed Derek. Okay, so Francis, it's 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 basically. Who is worse between the two, between Francis and Derek? Francis is a corrupt cop who uses his position in law enforcement to cover up his crimes, okay? He's a crooked cop, one of the worst types of criminals, right? Frank Tenpenny in San Andreas is living proof of that. But Francis isn't nearly as bad as Tenpenny is. See, Francis is a bad person, okay? He's a really bad person. Uh, <clears throat> but... So, the people that are trying to rat on him for being a crooked cop are bad people, too. Like, uh, that lawyer, that Goldberg lawyer. I think his name is Tom Goldberg. I think that was, that was his name. Uh, he's implied to be a pedophile. Okay? And, man, I, f I forgot what, the, what that one, you know, hood criminal's You're name was. Right now, what's a cool, handsome guy like me driving a cab for? Shut up. I don't care. But anyways, that one hood criminal that that Francis that Francis has you kill, he he pleads for you to not kill him. But if you choose to spare him, in a random encounter, he'll try to kill you for making him beg. So he was a bad person too. He needed to go as well. Uh, all right, and uh, Derek, on the other hand, he was part of a terrorist group. Okay, he was part of a terrorist group, the IRA. And he braced, he he snitches on a lot of criminals that he's involved with, that he's aligned with, just so he doesn't have to go to prison. Okay, and it's heavily implied that he got Jerry arrested. You you remember Jerry? It's heavily implied that he ratted him out and got him incarcerated. And you know, see, because of that, I chose to kill Derek because Buggy and <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Bucky and Aiden? Okay, those two deserve to be in prison, okay? Fine. Jerry was his brother, okay? Jerry is his younger brother, and he didn't do anything to Derek, okay? He didn't do anything bad to Derek to make him want to rat him out. But it's implied that the police picked him up again because, you know, he's out in parks getting high and drunk at the same time, which, that's illegal. Uh, and... Derek, he doesn't like going to prison, so he's gonna rat on people to keep himself safe. And it's it's safe to say that he probably ratted out Jerry. And Packy, if he would have found out about that, he would have he would have never forgiven Derek. He probably would have had him killed. And also, the reason why I chose to kill Derek is because later come on, on, come on, come on, be quiet. This is my dad's cab. I'm not really a cab driver. Wow, good to know. Uh, but anyways, another reason why I chose to kill Derek is because later between the, the this game story and Grand Theft Auto V story, Derek ends up dead anyways. Now, a lot of people would imply that that means Nico chose... That's great. 
to kill Derek. And that's that could that could be true, but it also could it be. You know, <clears throat> Derek could have also died from his heroin addiction and his alcoholism. Like I said, that is a deadly combination. Heroin is already one of the most deadly drugs, and mixing with alcohol, even worse. So, we don't know what Nico would have done if it were completely up to him and not up to the player. Another LJ email. You can pause it to read it. I don't feel like it. But if it was completely up to Nico and not the player's choice... I think that Nico would have probably killed Francis because he didn't like Francis at all. And also, I forgot to talk about what Nico would have done if it were completely up to him and up to the player between Playboy and Dwayne. He would have killed Playboy because Dwayne reminded Nico of himself, and he really liked Dwayne. He want he wanted to have him around. Museum piece. This is one of my least favorite missions. Yeah, yeah, the pink thing with the little feathers on the, uh... Yeah. Wonderful. I gotta go, I gotta go. Nico, come on in. Okay. Where the fuck have you been? Sorry, you know how it is. I know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is sitting around with two million dollars worth of stolen ice waiting to get jumped, if that's what you mean, brains. Were you followed? No. I mean, I don't think so. This town's full of rats, so who knows? What's going on? What's so urgent? I need you to offload this ice for me. So what you going to do for me? What do you mean, what am I going to do for you? I look after you. That's not I enough. I don't need looking after. I need help finding someone. I said I got connections. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do is not good enough. I want your word that you'll find him. Hey, I said I'll look after you. Okay, you know what? It's cool. Get someone else. I'll see you later. Ki whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me your word, Are you Ray. You fucking kidding me? No. I keep doing these favors for you, and you pay shit. I need this from you. I guarantee that you will find this man. I know he's in the city. So either you give me your word or go fuck yourself. I'm sick of this shit. Fine. Fine. You got it. You want my word? Better. You got my word. Good. Who is he? Florian Kravich. Florian fucking Kravitz? That's right! Yes, Florian Kravitz. Okay. Okay. You have my word. Now don't touch my face, in that's the gay. Meantime, head over to the Libertonian. There you're gonna meet that guy named Johnny. And the two of you are gonna exchange the diamonds with a guy named Isaac. Then, you give Johnny half the money, the rest you bring back to me. What's he doing there? He's waiting to get paid. It'll be good. Keep things on a level. People always behave better with company. Sure. Much better getting shot by two guys than one. Is this the merchandise? No, it's my lunch. Funny. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> okay, well, Ray gives us word that he's going to find Florian Kravitz. Take me to the museum. So can you take me to Columbus Avenue? Jill Van Krasenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do something special with that. I did not understand a word you just said. Here we are. It's a wrap. Thank you. So yeah. A lot of people disagree with me, but I consider Derek worse than Francis. Francis is a corrupt cop, but at least after Nico does everything for him, he leaves him alone. And Tenpenny in San Andreas, another corrupt cop, when CJ does everything he needed for him, he tries to kill him. And Derek was part of a terrorist group, and he was a cowardly rat. Hey, all right, man. Hey, How's Johnny. Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precaution. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay, let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, 
let's see some money. Of course. No Someone problem. try to call me. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Oh. Rest of you motherfuckers want to die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Thanks a lot, Luis. Come on! I'll have to take take care of something after this. Yeah, I don't like this mission at all. It's a, it's a pain. Sorry I'm not talking as much right now, I'm a little bit angry over someone trying to call me. While I'm making a video. Shut him up. All right, finally. Don't try to make this a Shut up. You too. Cheat code. You know what? Rocket launcher. Best part. Okay, there's another couple cars coming after me. I'm gonna rocket launch them.
Alright, who's the one level? Okay, I gotta flee the museum before the cops arrive in full force. Duh. Seriously? Will you go get laid or something? I gotta find a vehicle or something to get out of this circle. I swear to Jesus. Let's, let's just go to a safe house. Cause I, I got something to take care of. <clears throat> I'm gonna end the video here and take care of this. Post your comments below the which videos on this. If you like to see your thumbs up, please see your thumbs down. All my social media back backup channel down in the description box. And be sure to subscribe to become a member of the channel be faction and journey 10,000 subscribers. See you later.